This was Bujigali waterfalls a few days after the gets downstream had been closed off to generate enough water to run the turbines. This created a reservoir which was necessary for the balance of the flow in the highly managed systems of the dam, taking in water during high flows and releasing it again during low flows. This is because in order for this to work, it requires careful control of water levels using adjustable sluices. This was termed as an environmental disaster at the time because of the loss of the rapid natural waterfalls. So why did they choose this particular spot along the entire river? Well, what we're looking for is a, a location along the river that uh, has the optimum geology for constructing a dam because it has to be founded on a, a firm rock base. And then uh, we look at the height of the dam uh, and what impacts it may have either upstream or downstream. And the reservoir has since been created and formed a lake kind of structure which has slowed down the flow of the river and water circulation. The water level is high enough to run the turbines but now contains a few traces of water hyacinth that flows from upstream and is removed to keep the water clear of any water vegetation. Other measures too were put into place, like these stones that are laid out on the riverbanks to avoid the riverbank cultivation that was there before. Well, the stones you see along the, the banks of the river that we've placed are called riprap. Riprap are sized and located to protect the banks against soil erosion. The size of the rock is determined by the anticipated uh, size of the wave action that can be developed during storms. Or, and, uh, and then placed within the reach uh, where the water level may vary or where the wave may rush up onto the bank. So, The geological aspects of the reservoir area are solid rock at the foundation which contains the water within the river channel and it doesn't affect the water table of the nearby locations. Approximately four kilometers behind me is where the Bujagali Falls used to be that no longer exist since this water reservoir was created, to which most people thought that this was actually an environment disaster. But the point this is the fishing grounds that could develop following the submerged islands that used to be in this area. The islands that were submerged had vegetation on them, which is now food for the fish and acts as a breeding ground for the fish. But plans are in place to bring back some of the vegetation that was submerged. But as Bell, we shall undertake uh, enrichment planting to ensure that uh, one, the river banks are well protected from operation, but also to ensure that uh, the, the wildlife, the birds and so on, have uh, a source of food. Already various water birds have flocked the reservoir because of the water that has a block of migrating fish trapping them in one area producing food and a habitat for various water birds. Yes, we undertake routine uh, tests on the water to ensure that the quality is okay and we look at the number of parameters including the pH, the fecal coal forms, uh, the oxygen, uh, the oxygen, the biological oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand, and so on and so forth. Stability as well. Stability is a measure of, uh, uh, of effect on the water through erosion and that kind of stuff. The reservoir that might eventually have a natural lake set up can lead to more rapid cycling of nutrients through the water body. The communities around Bujagali will be exposed to the national fishing laws and sustainable fishing methods so that their activities are regulated in the future as they operate on the reservoir. Craig Adoda, NTV, Ecotalk.